In this chapter, I will introduce PLC programming and sequence instructions. Sequence instructions just refer to the instructions that the PLC is able to understand and execute. There are two basic programming methods. We have already introduced one, the ladder program. We call it ladder program because the two vertical rails and the series of horizontal rungs resemble a ladder. Another method is the program list method. This method was popular even before the computer became prevalent. Even now, this handy programming panel used to program in program list method is used in many places. The program list is a list of instructions and devices. The normally open contact is represented as LD, which means load. The normally closed contact is represented as LDI, which means load inverse. The others are the same too. With the advent of the computer, the letter program is now the programming method of choice, but the PLC is basically operated by the program list method. Let's study both of them. First, a PLC program is a series of instructions, and the operation unit of an instruction is called a step. Each instruction in the program has a step number, which tells us its position in the program. The PLC's program capacity is fixed to a limited number of steps. Instructions are executed from step 0 to end. Then it returns to step 0 and repeats continuously. This is called cyclic execution, and the time which it takes to execute step 0 to end once is called the scan time. Programs are executed in step number order in the PLC. In the program list, it is operated from up to down, but in the latter program, it is operated left to right, then up to down. 